to Co Outdoors. Today I'm going to talk about why we should build custom rods. Custom rods are a great tool. Stay tuned and you'll understand why. The best thing about a custom rod is tailored to you and your style of fishing. If you like a shorter rod, you can make it shorter. If you want it longer, you can make it longer. It's absolutely awesome. And not, it's just not going to fit your style perfect, but the performance of that rod is going to be a lot better than any rod you're going to go pick off the store shelf. That's because you build along the spine of the rod. You can take $150 and make that rod better than a $300 rod by just making sure that you're building along the spine. And also, as you're building it, you can select your own options. I mean, there's so many reasons why you want to go and build a custom rod over a store-bought rod. I mean, you can pick anything you want in that rod. You can put any, you can change the weight. You can do anything you want with the rod. And as I've said before, I mean, the expense of building a rod is going to pay you back twice as much because you, you get about two dollars per one dollar that you put into that rod. And the best reason to build your own rod is it's fun. Now that you have chosen to build your own custom rod, it is time to decide what kind of length to choose. So you need to do something. You need to ask yourself, what do I want this rod to do? So once you ask yourself that, it helps you narrow down what you want in this rod. So, most people are going to say, okay, I want a uh, drop shot rod, so I want something 6'6 six, six to 6'10 six, and extra fast. And, okay, so so that brings up a whole entire other topic. What kind of action do you want your rod to be? Okay, extra fast is going to be good for high sensitivity in the tip, which is great for your single hook applications and, uh, and your top waters. If you're going for fast action, that's great for all around. It's got a little forgiveness for treble hooks, and so that would be a versatile speed. And then you have moderate. Moderate is good for your crankbaits and other treble hooked things. It helps you. It has a lot of forgiveness in there, and it allows those hooks to stay, stay stuck to the fish a little better. And then the one that you very rarely see is slow action. Slow action is more or less going to be your fly rods, your ultra light, and your ultra light tackle. The last thing you need to consider when deciding what, to, what rod blink you need is what you're going to fish for. If you're fishing for bluegill, you're going to want ultra light rod. If you're fishing for blue cast, you probably want an extra heavy rod. And those are different types of powers. And all power is is how much force it takes to bend your rod. I hope this has helped you in selecting your rod length to, to build your custom rod. Next time on Co-op Doors, we're going to actually start building our fishing rod, starting with finding the spine of a rod. Thank you for watching Co-op Doors. Until next time, I'm your host, Derek Cole, please remember to subscribe, like, and share this channel.